Hey, do you remember back in the day when Bitcoin was at $64,000 and I told you to sell it all the way? Well, that was a good call. Yeah, that was a good call. And I said you could come back into crypto in spring of 2023. Boom chicka laka laka 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 boom chicka laka laka boom chicka laka laka boom chicka laka 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 boom chicka 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 laka laka. Well, that first minute was for me, and this shit is free. Oh man, I dropped below fifty six thousand subscribers again. Whoa, Bobby was like, "Hey, Thor, are you gonna talk about tropics?" I was like, "Okay, sure." And here we are. This has gotten stronger than most people predicted, including me. I'm not that worried about it. And then we're watching out for this one thingy. This would be about nine days from now. I'm talking on a Sunday, early morning. This tropical storm, possibly hurricane, possibly depression, possibly just a group of wind and a tiny bit of rain. Nobody knows yet. This could be coming your way. About nine days from now. And so we'll be watching out for that. And... Uh, the GFS model has a Dorian baby coming right up where it's like, oh my God, look, it's going to be a hurricane. Oh, it's going to go to, no, it's going to turn. Oh, it's going to go out to sea. It's going to wave to the whole East Coast though. But it's just going to be like a baby Dorian. Is that a better description of it? Anywho, right now, nobody knows what's going to happen. And technically we're tracking three cyclonic possibility bogeys with the one in the Gulf. We got the one that'll be coming up by Crystal River. And then the one that'll be Dorian in it, maybe. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but we're definitely keeping a close eye on all the thingies as best we can. Because it is hurricane season, and peak hurricane season is like September 11th, which is like 22 days away. But right now, I'm not totally worried about anything, but I'm only one man, one opinion. And if you're in Mexico, I'd be watching out because whatever's coming out of the Gulf right now is stronger than most people expected it to be. And it's probably got another 48 hours before landfall, I would think. Remember that when that one tropical storm came by and it wasn't much, but then it dumped shit tons of rain on New Jersey and caused a major flooding thing? Well, you got to watch out for that shit too because it has been flooding like everywhere. We're talking in Arizona, in New Mexico, in Missouri in Virginia, in Kentucky, and in France. France got the shit kicked out of it by a Medicaid. So don't let your guard down just because I'm super in a good moody. Day two, day one. So yeah, here you're under red alert for excessive rainfall, and here you're under excessive red alert for rainfall. Hey, guess what? Over the next seven days, Texas is under the bullseye, and so a lot of the parts of you are in the red. Don't be surprised if you get way more rain than you were expecting. This could be a big problem, though. Uh, let's take a moment to check out this bad boy. See it? But yeah, remember how things pulse up? Like this pulsed up, and now it's pulsing down, and then it'll pulse up again. As it heads north, it'll probably curve into Mexico, but it could bring rain and stuff into South Texas. Either way, I wouldn't sleep on it completely, because it's really hard to sleep on an air mass of water. But I'm watching it, you're watching it, we're watching it. And you never know what shit's going to do. Am I going to go live tonight later and make a fool of myself? Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, mixed precipitation in the next 14 hours. And it pulses down. And it pulses up. And it pulses down. And it pulses up. That's how the game is played. And people will be like, hey, man, this solar storm was a dud. And, well, solar storms aren't impressive, really. They don't do much except for auroras and then mess with your emotions. 
Uh, I'm probably underselling it a bit. I'm just saying I never expect like major shit to go down. Asterisk? I don't even know what I'm talking about tonight. Hopefully you guys will forgive me. Somewhere over a rainbow. Man, I just got home from work and multiple people are like, you know what I'm doing tonight? I am drinking on fuck it Friday. And is it a good idea? I don't know. It's up to you. You have to make decisions because you're an adult and life is about making decisions. And this thing will probably make landfall on Sunday. So we still got uh, 30 hours to watch it. So throw on your best Saturday night gear on a Friday night. And I guess go out and have a good time. Have a great weekend. Have super fun. Um, Because Memorial Day will be here. before. Is it Labor Day? I don't even remember. Elon Musk's Twitter subpoena storm gets everyone wet, which means he'll probably have a few more children by the end of the month. Although it takes him like nine months to be born. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It raised the chance of its development to 70%. Because it's looking good. I always enjoy saying the Bay of Campeche. A whole lot of lightning going on in the Bay of Campeche. This area is likely to become a depression. Kind of like Bitcoin holders. I don't know, man. They're like, hell no, my diamond hands are holding this shit until it goes to 100K. Uh, okay. Hey, did you know in other parts of the world, the internet went down? And, you know, um, and a lot of people are getting banned. Or deplatformed, uh, and nobody likes it when I say, "Well, America's still a whole lot more free than Russia or China." Yeah, I mean, you know, Dark Brandon is probably gonna run the table. Uh, this is not Dark Brandon. I don't know who this is. But this they were talking about. Hey, man, the internet is down. Yeah, I wouldn't underestimate Dark Brandon. But if that's your thing, if you like to underestimate him, go ahead. What was it talking about? Conviction, probably. Hey, there was flooding in North and South Carolina today. All right, stay cool. Don't be a fool. Eat your vegetables. Be nice to dogs and people and animals. Except for a TV CEO who insulted Amelia Clark in front of Game of Thrones fans. And it didn't go well. The story just popped up. And yeah, fuck you, buddy. I'm talking to the TV CEO. Uh, I love Amelia. She has one of the best smiles in the universe. And she's a great actress. And she's got a wonderful aurora. And they were like, man, you can't make us stop partying. And the CDC was like, we recommend you throw a party on a Ferris wheel in the middle of a hurricane or a Medicaid. That was like the CDC's latest recommendation. And they were like, you should lick toilet seats. I was like, that sounds flipping gross. Anywho, but yeah, the Medicaid, Hurricane, Hurricane, Frenchy Cane, Spainy Cane. That sounds good. Spainy Cane. Um, it was deadly. Nothing to joke about. Zip Zap Pow. Hey, I watched the new She Hulk uh, on Disney. And it was my favorite MCU thing since the Loki came out. But yeah, we're tracking the tropics. Dada Boo, Florida Wave Master, looking at. September 11th is when the peak would be. So we're just now about to enter the woo-woo point where it'll get all woo-woo-y. From drought to deluge, I've got an attitude and I'm playing not to lose. All right. This might be my worst door news video ever. I blame CERN. It's because they turned the CERN on and it is affecting my, my, my sense of humor. All right. Uh, Venus Center's Gemini tomorrow. No, Mars enters Gemini tomorrow. At least Taurus goes into Gemini. Tell me if you notice a behavioral energy shift. And get ready, because that shit's going to stay there for like seven months. Like 200 days or some shit. So it'll be kind of the same vibe for 200 days. So let's hope it's a good vibe. But heading into election, and then a Mars retrograde. Yeah, I doubt it. Remember the last time Mars went retrograde. Remember the day that it went direct? It was January 6, 2020. So yeah, Mars. It's quite an influential planet, but you probably knew that. Fan-fucking-tastic. Stephanie Abrams, Charles Peake, 
showing the peak meteor shower. The Aurora pillars were fun to watch dancing across the sky in this short time lapse. And wow moment for him at 40 mile point lighthouse. Just check this out. Check it out. Check it out. All right. Are you checking it out? Are we checking it out together? Oh, you got pillars and you got shooting stars and you got and you got water and you got grass and you got ground and you got trees and you got shrubs and you got boats and you got stars you got planets and you got me not anymore because this video is over <laughs>